Hey gamers, today we're gonna look at Dream Phone. Let's check it out. Setup for this game is extremely easy. You just put out the board, shuffle the deck, give out four cards to every player, give them one of these little scratch pads to eliminate who could be uh, the person with their secret crush, and then give them one of each of these three cards and you're ready to go. Now, how the game starts, the phone has a little phone holder, which you don't need. It's just a little fake cell phone. You'll push power, and then it'll start like that, dream phone. It'll ask how many players, and so you put one, two, or three. I guess you can play singular. I don't know how that works, but then you play, let's say, two. And it says, hey, player two goes first. So then you press any key to go first. Well, then you can call any of these people. You can call John, tell him to get a life, or Alex, or... Uh, Paul, or hey, let's call me. So then I call this number. Not my real number. And then I hit this. Oh, no, wrong number. I've never seen that happen before. Let me see if I can call it again. Maybe I hit something wrong. That's funny. There it is. It says calling Matt. And then it's a generic message that everyone can hear. But then it's the text message is where you get your clue. And then I can thumb up or down on the text message box and say, he hates glasses. Well, then I look and see who has glasses here. And I eliminate them from the suspects here who have a crush on me. And then I can discard Matt and draw up again. Again, some of these are doubles. If you get a double, you can just discard and draw up to someone who you haven't called. And then if you go through the deck, which does happen sometimes in the game, especially with four players, you can just have what we do is we just have them go through all the cards and call people who they haven't talked to yet. But uh, during the game, any of the other players may play these three cards. This card makes you share that message that you're reading. Because see, it doesn't go away until you hit hang up. When you hit hang up, it goes to the next player. Now, the thing is, uh, this then say, hey, don't hang up. Let us let everyone see that message or forward that message to me. You know, I want to see who you guys, I saw who you called. <clears throat> I want to see what they said. Or this is basically skip a turn. Mom says hang up. This is from the original uh, uh, game here. Anyway, when you're ready to guess, what you do is you hit this right here, this question mark. And then it says, oh, guess the admirer. And then it says the phone book list. And then you go down this list and see who you want to call. And it's just giving all the numbers. And so you'll just dial the numbers. So let's say I want to call John. See, no one knows who you're calling there. So you're not picking up a car and finding someone's number and you're guessing. And if I got it right, see, it's not him. He says, sorry, it's not me. But if it was, he would have asked me out and then would have played some music. And that is the winner. Final thoughts, what do I think about the game? Well, this is the new version, okay? The old version is very expensive and hard to get, but this one is fairly easy. I got this one from Zatu Games. You can get for like, I think 25 bucks. And uh, it's good. It's just like the original version of the game, except with text messages. It's a little bit cheaper done because it's easier to make text messages on there than have voices record the clues. Used to be the voice would be the clue in the old system. And this time, you'd most likely receive text messages from your friends. Just a little bit more realistic. Um, the phone works great. The rules are very simple. The board is fine. I mean, the the, whole, the phone holder you don't need. It plays just like the original game. So if, if you know, your wife or girlfriend or someone remembers this from way back in the day and you're like, oh, I remember, I, I want the original. You can get this version and still have fun with it. It's still a fun game. Uh, my girls, when they get older, want, want to play it too. It's basically electronic guess who is what it for girls. Um, but my wife, I got this for her for last Christmas and she and her sister played the original one, which we have. But that one costs so much, and everyone would love to have the original game, but it costs too much. So I would suggest get the get the uh, reprint or whatever the new the new version with the cell phone. It's just as good, I think. I, I don't think there's a difference really, and I think text messages make more sense. Uh, either way, uh, it's it's Dream Phone. What can I say? And you know, if you're interested in it, then definitely go get it because this version is available while that old version isn't. At least at a cheap price. All right, gamers, that's it for now. Until next time, game on.